video, we are going to discuss a counting technique called combination. So combination is the order is not important. So the first confusion that confuse people all the time. People say once they see, hear the word combination, they think, all right, uh, when I was in high school, I used combination lock, right? So combination lock requires three uh, passcodes, right? So you have to uh, twist the lock to three numbers in a certain order in order to unlock it, right? So com is, that means combination means combination lock. Here is my answer. They are not the same at all. This word combination and the combination lock you use in your life, they are completely not related. So combination is a counting technique, all right? It has nothing to do with a combination lock. Combination is when the order is not important. So what do I mean order is not important? So let's say I have three people in my family, my dad, my mom, and me, and we want to line up to take a family portrait. So let's say the order is not important, how many pictures can be taken? So here is how we do it. So using the combination formula, we have C, C stands for the big C stands for combination. The N is N objects, R is you take R at a time. So we that will be a combination. There are five different ways to write it. I prefer to use the last three combination. You have three people in your family. You want to put three people in the picture. So that will be uh, another way to write it is three, choose three, choose. This is not a fraction. So that is three factorial divided by three factorial times three minus three factorial. So that will be three factorial. Zero factorial is one, right? This zero factorial is one divided by three factorial is one. So one, you can only take one pictures. But you might say, hey, back to the permutation. Permutation. When order is important, I can take six pictures, right? I can be dad, mom, and me. Dad, me, mom. Uh, mom, dad, and me. Mom, me, and dad. I go first and then dad and mom, I go first, and then mom and dad. So there are six total. But how come in combination, there is only one? So that here is why the order is not important. So when the order is not important, it was supposed to be six different pictures, right? When the order is not important, here is what I am telling you. You take a picture, get the job done, and then you get out. I am not going to let you switch position and then keep taking pictures. So permutation, I am very lenient. I let you switch positions to take pictures. I am trying to let you do whatever you want. But in combination, I say no. You line up, take a picture, job is done, and then you get out. So order is not important, it's more strict. You take one of the six pictures only. But in a permutation, when the order is important, well, I have to consider all the possible outcomes. So he, this is the difference between combination and permutation. So in math, here is uh, not in math, uh, in your graphing calculator. So the combination, you type the n first, let's say three, and then you go to math, and then you go to PRB, probability, and then you take the third one, NCR, the big C. Big C stands for combination. Right here, this big C stands for combination. And then you take that, and then you input the next number. So three people in a in a portrait. So you can only take one picture. What if you want to put three two people? Then you type three, math, and then probability combination. You hit a two. So that will be three pictures. All right. If one person has to hold on to the camera, so permutation, not permutation, combination. Uh, three people in your family, one person has to hold on the camera, two people in the picture. So in this way, you can generate three pictures, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. Selecting a team, a math class has 20 students. The professor is trying to select six students to form an elite team for a research project, but I am not giving them a specific uh, title, right? How many different teams can be formed? Is the order important? The answer is no. The order is not important. So when the order is not important, 
this is a combination problem. So we have a combination C. How many people? 20. I want to choose 6. So that will be 20 choose 6. I like, I, I like this two note notation. This is not a fraction though. 20 choose 6. So that is a 20 factorial divided by 6 factorial and then 20 minus 6 factorial, right? So let's do this in your uh, calculator. So we have a 20 and then you go to math PRB, right? Combination, choose 6. Then that is your answer. So that is 30,760. That is your answer. I can form that many teams and the order is not important. Six people is six people. They form a team. One team is one team, right? I am not giving them any specific position. So that, that's why the order is not important. And then the last problem, an engineering firm is hiring five industrial engineers from a list of 14. So there are 14 people outside of your office. You want to hire five of them. So once you hire these five, then you just hire five. So the order is not important because all the positions are the same. So this, the order is not important. Then this is a combination problem. So we have a combination 14 choose five or you write 14 choose five. So that is 14 factorial divided by 5 factorial. You also need to write 14 minus 5 factorial. Since you have to divide it by an extra number, uh, that's why that makes the uh, total smaller. 14, 14, math, probability, option number 3 at the end, CR. And then you choose 5. There you go. The answer is... 2002, 2002 different groups can be select, can be generated using combination. So that will be the end of this video. If my, you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe and share. I appreciate your help really much. I see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.